Okay, welcome back. This is part two of our VS Code running as the Web IDE demo. And Paul's going to run us through how extensible the experience is and how to install extension. Yeah. Um, so let's do that. Um, before I do that, I'm going to hijack um, and I'm going to change my color to oh, please do. Uh, dark plus. And I'm going to emphasize how these settings persist. Uh, across page reloads. So they are by default cat. This is nothing I've built. This is all baked into VS code. It's cached into the local storage. And there's out there's, but there is an API for um, letting the sync across a abstract account. Um, mm -hmm. um, that's something we could look into to make, but on top of all the different configurations you can do, like I can adjust my own color scheme and I can edit my own like workspace configuration and stuff. On top of all of that, um, we can also install extensions for the marketplace. And so this marketplace is actually not the main VS Code marketplace, but this is an open source um, maintained uh, VS Code extension marketplace. And I can search for extensions and these ones that are grayed out are going to be extensions that aren't supported by the web build. Um, there's something to look into here because a lot of them actually are supported by the web build. And so it's weird to see um, some of these grayed out, but there's a lot that work. So my favorite, favorite extension of anything of all time is VS Code Vim uh, because it lets me use Vim within VS Code. So I hit install and now baked out of the box. I am able to Vim. So let's double check that it actually installed nicely. It does look like it is installed nicely. If I open this up, am I Viving right now? It doesn't look like I am. That's weird. Let's try refreshing this. Oh no, I wonder if something happened here. Um, I don't know. Well, it's okay. The demo, you know, bad luck <laughs> has to hit There's, us at some point. I but I, I have seen this work. I can attest to you well, using Vim. Right. Other things that you can we can install are like uh, looks like based on the files I've already opened, they are recommending like linters for Markdown and stuff. And so we can try installing that. Um, it's saying that it has limited functionality on the web. Let's see what that means. I wonder if maybe them recently broke their thing for the web. And so that's a whole thing we want to solve um, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Uh, but let's see what happens here. Uh, it says I can, and I can open up the, uh, oh, it looks like I can install Markdown Lint. Is that something it will let me to install? Let's see. Oh no, I'm trying <laughs> commands and the commands aren't working. Ah! Got me, uh, oh, let me hit this button. F1 is the command button. Um, if I look for markdown lint. Yeah, markdown files in the workspace with markdown lint. Cool. Yeah. Whoa. So now it's executing some sort of task, I guess. Uh, and so extensions have access to all these things to make the um, editing experience be very um, customizable and robust. Mm -hmm. uh, I also am curious if I do toggle linting on or off temporarily. Let's see what that does. Uh, yeah, fix all. Whoa, so <laughs> fancy. All right, so we saw an extension work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Vim has worked before, so I'm not sure why it's broken, but that's that's something to discover. So yeah. yes, extensions is a really neat opportunity. Um, this marketplace is, high, is customizable. So we're pointing to nothing that is Microsoft, uh, and we could point to something that has its own 
our own set of curated extensions that that we like using to um help solidify the user experience a bit yes well we all know how much developers like gated communities so i'm sure that'll be our first thing that we <laughs> invest in no um i i should also say that there's one extension that is not ready for the web but we would very much like to see default which is our very own gitlab workflow yes. extension yeah and we would work on getting that pre-installed so that you can integrate with merge requests and discussions and issues and whatnot um cool thanks for um for, for getting through it even though vim didn't work now in part three we're going to talk about performance so tune in next time same bat time same bat channel